If you cold, turn the heat up. If you hot, turn the air on. Right, what about if you can't do all that? You, can't, you ain't got the comfort then. The only thing you gotta rely on the work that you laid up, laid up treasures in heaven, you know, and that's gonna be the thing that delivers you that time, whether you are the elect or not. Really? Luke 17. Luke 17, verse 24 says, For as the lightning that lightneth out of the one part under heaven shineth unto the other part under heaven, so shall also the Son of Man be in his day. Right. Every eye is going to see it. You know how the lightning flash in one place and they even see it in another place? The chariots come back, everybody's going to see it. It's going to be known all at once. No matter what time it is and in whatever part of the earth, it ain't going to matter. So when the, and the scripture says that when the chariots come, everything will be rumbling. But even if you're in the bed sleep, you're going to wake up. Whatever. But first, must he suffer many things and be rejected of this generation. Right, and that's happening now. We've been delivering the message now. It happened during the time when he was on the scene. Because the people rejected him, right? But now when we deliver that message, they still reject our people the same. Spirits came back and they said, crucify, crucify. We don't want to hear that. You know, our God got us, the God I serve. Well, the God you serve, if his name ain't Yahweh, then he's the idol. Yeah. Uh, and as it was the as it was in the days of Noah, so shall as it be in the days of the Son of Man. Right, like it was during the time of Noah. What happened? Noah prophesied, the most high told him to build an ark. And he, while he was building it, or before or after, how it was, he prophesied the word and people didn't listen. Yep. So when the time came, it's going to tell you what happened. Go they did eat, they drank, they married, yep. they married wives, they were given into marriage yep. until the day that Noah entered into the ark and the flood came and destroyed them all. So the whole time Noah was building the ark and prophesying, nobody really paid attention. And then that day, when he got done with everything, the most I said, take your family, Get the animals together, go on in the ark, right? He went in there the most, and they said the most high shut the door. So in that time, when the water started coming from the heavens and from the ground, everybody got all nervous, and it was too doggone late. Uh, likewise, also as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat, they drank, yep. they bought, they sold, they planted, they built it. But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven. And it destroyed them all. Now, if you go back to the story of Lot and Reed, it was the time when the, um, the angels went and they told Lot, you know, get, get ready to get out of Sodom because the Most High is going to destroy it. Because the great of the, the cry of it is waxing great in the ears of the Lord. But the wickedness is great, right? So, the Lot told his sons-in-law, then they were lingering. They were taking their time. And Lot was like, y'all need to hurry up. And they said that he was after them as one that mocked. They thought he was playing a game, playing a trick. So, Lot had to wind up leaving them. And he took his daughters and then they all left, right? And then who looked back? His wife looked back. She became a pillar of salt. But even even thus, even thus shall be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. In that day he in that day he which shall be upon the housetop and his stuff in the house. Let him not come down to take it away. So really, when you out and about, if yo, if you know, if somebody can alert you and let you know, don't come back home. The martial law troops came in looking for you. Don't go back. You might just have to keep on booking. You know, and if the Lord will, then you meet back up with everybody else at the point in time. But if not, you might just be out there, man. You know. And he that is in the field, let him likewise not return back. There you go. And I said, even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. Just like it was in the time of Lot, during the time of Noah. You know, when it came time for the destruction, then the destruction came. Yeah, you're not, like the brother said, like you're not going to have time to go back and grab stuff and stuff like that. You, now, it, it's, 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 you're going to be a pilgrim, man. Right, you know, that's what's going to happen. Yep. So we'll read a couple more. Oh, I can't. Let me read that loop. First, 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 first. Yeah, just you know, for more. Go back to when I read. So Luke thirty twenty-eight. This is Luke twenty-two, verse twenty-eight. You are they which have continued with me 
in my temptation. This is Yahweh talking to the disciples today, to the twelve tribes, and we're really looking for the elect. So ye are they which have continued with me in my temptation. And what's gonna happen to them? Go ahead. And I appoint unto you a kingdom. Right. As my father has appointed unto me. And I appoint unto you a kingdom. As my father have appointed unto me. We're going into that earlier. You're going to be heirs and joint heirs with the Savior. Go ahead. That you may eat and drink at my table uh -huh. in my kingdom and sit on, on thrones judging the 12 tribes of Israel. See that? That you may be able to eat and drink at my table in my kingdom. And who's going to be the rulers in his kingdom? The 12 tribes of Israel. Go ahead. Keep going. And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan has desired to have you, that he may sift you as wheat. Right. Satan has desired to have you, that he may sift you as wheat. You know? Satan want to pluck you out of the truth. He want to get you. You know? Always looking and scheming to see those that he can get. He got the whole world. He want the brothers. You know? That was Peter he was talking to. You know Peter was a man of the Lord, so Satan wanted him. Hey, then let's, let's, let's go into that Lord. Satan comes in many different forms. Right. Come from your woman, it can come from your mother, uh, 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 kid, uh, uh, kids, job. anything. Huh? Yeah, you know, well, yeah, like you said, your job, yep, from another yep. brother, school, oh man, you know, somebody you perceive as a brother, right, 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 right. But you know, uh, starting with the physical counter counterpart, he saw the so called white man. Yep. Let's see if we'll just work because to have Jacob just walk past us and shake his head like. We wrong, we ain't got the truth. No, nigga, right. you don't got the truth. <laughs> I saw that. You're the one that's almost in a bad condition and you don't get wake up because that's what they do. They walk past us like, he ain't got the truth. No, he doesn't tell your daddy the devil. Right. He lied to you. We don't lie. We ain't lying to you. We did it. He lied to you. Like, what it say about the foolishness of preaching? To them, this is, you know, madness, man. That's right. But hey, well, see, they're the going to see you in that day. It is. Our people, Jacob, you under the curses. You walking around here trying to rake up change for a damn 211. You know, right. a slit small liquor bull, and you looking at us like we going off. Right. Your ass going off. Go ahead, but I have prayed for thee that thy faith fail not. And what did the Savior say? I have prayed for thee that thy faith fail not. You know, Satan going to attack you in many different forms, but I prayed for you that your faith don't fail, that it gets you through. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And when thou art converted, mm -hmm. strengthen thy brethren. And to those of you out there now, when you come into the truth, that's when you convert it. You leave off the works of the flesh and the works of the world. You stop being an American or African American, all those names, and you start identifying with the 12 tribes of Israel. Then what do you do? You learn, you study up, you learn, and then you go and you strengthen the brother that you can help others get converted. That's right. Like they say in the world, each one teach one. Yeah. <laughs> what well, say you two were Gentiles carried away with diverse looks? Yep. Carried away to these dumb idols. Right, dumb idols, yeah. And he said unto him, Lord, I am ready to go with thee, both to prison and to death. Stop right there. So as they say, you'll go real quick in Revelation 2 10. So we're going to have to suffer some of the same things the Satan suffered, and, and, and you're going to have brothers that's got to you know, go through all, the whole martyrdom thing too. And even among us, we don't know which ones of us got to deal with that. We don't, we don't know. Yeah. You got to be prepared for that, because that can come upon you before you know it. Like uh, Apostle uh, Ramlov went into a few years ago, but that whole thing with summary execution, they're going to start getting to the point where they might take you before the, the judges and then they're going to ask you questions. And they might say, your, your, uh, your penalty is death. You've been going and prophesying against America, saying we're going to get destroyed. They might bring them a video monitor and show you how to use you teach Is that you teaching that America's going to be destroyed? They might finish you to death right there on the spot and take you right away speedily and, and put you to death. You don't know. You know, you pray that it ain't, it ain't so, but hey, you don't know. Just pray if that happens. Pray we strong enough to endure it and that we can go through it. But they want to try to get you to sell out. Right. Revelation 2, verse 10. Yep. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. They just start. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. Who owns all the prisons? <laughs> Who owns all the prisons? Y'all know? The scripture say the devil <laughs> owns all the prisons. Who's the devil? They ain't gonna have Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Yep. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. Right. That you may be tried. And it, when you read into it in uh, Isaiah 14, is it 14? Yeah, it says uh, mm -hmm. uh, the one that destroyed the, the nations of the world, right? 
and uh, open out the house of his prisoners. He made the world, the nations of the world as a wilderness and open out the house of his prisoners. Talking about Lucifer and who is Lucifer? So-called white man. The same one that owned all the damn prisons. Yeah, it moves right there. Is right this there. the man? That's right. Is this the man? Parentheses. That shake the world. You know that. Uh, uh, the accuser of the brethren, kingdom. right? Yep, the accuser of the brethren. All the same individuals, man, which is a group of individuals. Read that one more time. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Right. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. Why is he going to do that? That you may be tried. Right. And you sh shall have tribulation ten days. Mm -hmm. Be thou faithful to death, and I will give thee a crown of life. That's right. So, because you want to look at it, it's going to come down to the first thing when they put us back on guilty, they're going to say, so this is, this is what you believe in? Or are you ready to die for? No, they might say. Yeah. Or they might say. They might say real nice. Are, are you going? Are you ready to die for your Lord, your Savior? And the first thing, because they're going to want you to deny him. Yep. You're going to have to have the ready on your mind to be a spirit like that. Right, just like when um, that yeah, seven, the seven sons and their mother got put to death, right? In the back of the it was one of them that uh, was kind of waiting, and then he said, Who wait ye for? And that pissed them off, you know, it pissed them off even more. They fried them in the pan, peeled the skin off their heads, did all kinds of stuff, man. Cut off every member of their body, you know, you just get yeah, it, man. So with the people you're dealing with. That's just like the movie Saw. That that when you look at that, okay, vision that when you read the Matthews brother, that that just gives you a reminder of the movie Saw when they be doing them wicked cruel acts. That's right. Right. Oh. And so now that's hey, all these are one is going out to the to you know to the brothers and those of you out there that's just waking up. You're gonna have to endure heavy persecution and you gotta go through stuff. And you're gonna see things that that it seem like they're one way, but they're really not the way they seem. But that's all just to sift you out and just try to get you out of the truth. Make you go back into the world and, and uh, join them in condemnation. So, hey, like the last scriptures we read, watch out for the devil, both spiritual and physical. First Peter 5, verse 8, it says, Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, and the roaring lion walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. Right, in the spirit. Say what you believe in false doctrine, that's why they say Esau is Arab and all this stuff, which is easily disproven. You know, you go through the scriptures and you understand spiritually, you know, that somebody got to play the part of the bad guy, and that the Arabs and the Edomites are two separate people, you know. But it's uh, also too in the physical, you know. Us teaching the word, this is a danger unto our very own lives because yeah. it's going to be a, a tab is being kept on how we go out and teach, you know. Got all of our lessons are out in the open on, on YouTube, so that can be used with evidence against us, you know. But we don't care. Because yeah. we love the Lord, we, we put our uh, we put our bodies as a living sacrifice. Exactly. Right. Right. Read that one more time. Be sober, be vis uh, vigilant, right. because you're answering the devil. Now, when you go into sober, you gotta be spiritually sober and be vigilant. You know, you gotta be watching, being vigilant, watching around you, certain expect because what? As a roaring lion, uh, because your adversary, the devil, is a roaring lion, right. walking about, seeking whom he may devour. Want to sift you and want to devour you up. So you know that's that's the one thing. Yeah, I got to come up here and try to go. Um, Ecclesiastes 4, verse 28. Strive for the truth unto death, yes. and the Lord shall fight with you. Right. This is a fight, man. And we got to strive. We really want you. And, and, and different things are going to come through, like you said, trying to tempt us and try to sift us from the truth. And that's their whole agenda to take us uh, away from our, our glory, our power. It's all kind of wonders that they said the cares of this life, like the parable of the um, seed and the soul, it says the cares of this life can uh, rise up and choke, you know, uh, yeah. exactly how it said, you know, choke the word that it becometh unfruitful, you know. So you got to be mindful of that, many snares. You know, lay it out there for brothers, so just be mindful of that right now before the Passover. You got a lot of proud spirits going on out there. Be careful that they don't latch on to you. Right. You know? well, that's gonna do it. I was gonna say, what it say? No man of war uh, 
basically bog himself down with the cares of this life. Right. No matter the word, yeah, right. Now he may be able to please him that has chosen him to be a soldier. Right. You no. Know? So that's where we at right now. We came out here today with us, you know, a little bit earlier than normal. The brother got you know things on their plate they gotta take care of. So with that, we'll see you brothers next week, Lord willing. So all praise to the most high, your house of our shem, your house shy, and double honor to the apostles and elders of the great millstone. And uh we'll see you next week. Don't respect all the brothers out there teaching the truth. We'll see you next week, Lord. Shalom. Shalom.